This is Grevillea lanigera, coastal gem. And uh, this planting you're seeing is a small slope in San Francisco, California, in late April. And uh, you're going to see blooms, as you can see here. has one of the more unusual blooms I've ever seen. I, you know, looks like curled up shrimp and then they're opening up. They've got these legs kind of sticking out. The clusters or the buds before they open are this nice strong um, deep pink color and then um, the elongated uh, part of the flower uh, is more of a creamy yellow or flesh color. Very unusual flower. Hummingbirds love these by the way. There you can see a good close-up of that. The foliage is, um, is kind of medium green and small leaves make it quite drought tolerant. Also the deer leave this one alone. Um, my dad has this in Pacific Grove, California and a lot of deer and they do leave his alone, so it's reliable with the deer. There's a good look at the uh, bloom. See how some of those are opened up and elongated, and then some of the clusters are still balled up in deep pink, like you see there. So this is about one foot tall uh, by four to five feet wide, and um, also seems to really prefer good drainage. I use this in a uh, hot inland valley in Northern California where I live. We also get in the mid to high 20s Fahrenheit during the winter and I have one of these and it did survive this winter where we had a lot of 20 degree temperatures Fahrenheit um, this past winter and a whole week of that at night and it survived it just fine. So. Um, does, I couldn't find a lot on hardiness, but um, one of the reasons I grow a lot of things myself is to figure out the hardiness of, hardiness of them. Um, we've had this, I've used it on other jobs though in heavier soils and they failed. So I do not recommend this in heavy soils at all. Um, I think uh, sandier, more well-drained soils is certainly preferred. And I also think that the temperature range is probably mid-20s is where it's going to start to fail or the low 20s Fahrenheit. Um, full sun does prefer full sun even in the hot inland valleys it handles that just fine. This is full sun here in um, Monterey. It's very seaside tolerant and um, what else? The, again the, the uh, hummingbirds love this one. Deer leave it alone and you know, it's got some irregularity to it, but overall it's kind of low, and uh, this uh, designer here using it on a big slope, I kind of like it. It's got some texture to it in terms of the whole look, but it also, it in general, it stays low and controlled, and I think that's, that's interesting. Also, I find that these blooms are on this plant almost all year. I mean, they're doing a pretty strong bloom here in April but um, it almost always has some flowers on it which is nice especially if you're trying to attract the hummingbirds so that's what i can tell you about grevillea lanigera coastal gem nice drought tolerant flowering ground cover and long-lived as well just make sure you give it a uh, well-drained soil enjoy